You watch, you wait it. Now it's time to save. It's the grand opening sale of the all-new Stevenson Mazda. Stevenson Mazda on Market Street. Truckloads of 2010 Mazdas have arrived, and we're selling them at 2009 prices. Stevenson Mazda. Our girls have been at the Learning Center since they were both nine weeks old, and because of the project approach curriculum, my oldest will be well prepared to start kindergarten next year. We are so comfortable leaving our girls at the Learning Center each day because the teachers are loving and professional and treat our girls as if they're family. During the grand opening sale at Stevenson Mazda, buy 2010 Mazda CX-7s for $21,990. New Mazda 3s for $179 a month. And every Mazda comes with our lifetime warranty. Stevenson Mazda on Market Street. Hi, this is Joe Browning, Senior Associate Athletic Director at UNCW. You're watching the Cape Fear Sports Report. Welcome back to the Cape Fear Sports Report. It's time to talk a little bit of NFL action. We have head coach from Hoggart High School, Scott Braswell, joining us. Thanks for stopping by, Coach. Glad to be here. Um, so first things first, I know Joe's been very disturbed by the kicking performances. <laughs> and we have you here. To... They ruined my picks last week. They ruined, I was 0 for 2 because of them. So It's been a rough year for kickers across the NFL, really. What, I mean, what do you do as a coach to kind of get a kicker ready for a, for a big kick? Is there something you say? You back uh, off? I, don't I tell say you anything? what, I, I typically just... I'm not a kicking coach. I've been blessed to have great kickers just happen to walk through the doors at Hoggard High School. My big thing is always just trying to relax them a little bit and tell them to keep their head down and follow through, focus on their technique, which they know much better than I do, rather than the situation, whether it's a pressure moment in the ball game or something like that. But it's been a tough year in the NFL. Throughout the NFL, a lot of heads have rolled because of missed kicks. How about once they miss one, getting back in that mindset? Because it seems like we've seen a that's string a, of misses. Yeah, that's a big thing. I think there's a lot of psychology involved in kicking. And, and for a lot of those guys, once you start, once they get into that slump, it's so hard for them to pull out of it. I know uh, Connor Barth, for us, actually saw a sports psychologist just to try and walk him through uh, the mental preparation for kicking and also dealing with the misses. Ted Williams, I know, wrote The Science of Hitting. Maybe we need a science of kicking here well, for football. And Connor Barth could probably write that book <laughs> at this point. All right, well, let's, the Jets have been the beneficiaries yeah. of uh, this field goal That's blundering. Right. That's uh, right. 0 for 5. Yeah. So we got Jets, Colts. Um, what do we think about this game? I tell you, it's an exciting game. I'm so impressed with the job that Rex Ryan has done. I, I probably ought to offer a disclaimer. I don't watch a ton of NFL football, so I'm no expert. But uh, very impressed with what the Jets have done. It's, it's going to be a big challenge for them. Uh, two things stand out to me. One, they've got to get a good running game offensively to take some pressure off their rookie quarterback, Mark Sanchez. And then the second thing, if you're playing Peyton Manning, you better have a good pass rush or he'll pick you apart. I think those are the two uh, keys to the game, at least from my perspective. So who, who do you like? we got to put you on the hot seat. Who do you like? I think the Colts are just too good at this point. Yeah. And Peyton Manning, when you look at the Peyton Manning-Mark Sanchez matchup, although the, obviously the teams play a big part, but I'd pick the Colts. And i got to agree with you there. I, I think this is a revenge game for them, too, because the Jets ruined the Colts' perfect season. Sure. And the whole time you looked at Peyton Manning sitting there on the sideline with <laughs> his right. helmet on, sure. wanting to be in that a game. Absolutely. And I, I don't know if Darryl Revis, he can't cover every receiver <laughs> on the field. Exactly so right. I think you, you had it right on when Peyton Manning is going to pick him apart. I think so. so we'll so. see. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the early game, 3 p.m. kickoff. Uh, 6.40 kickoff, Vikings, Saints. Should be a great game, high scoring? It really should. I, the, the New Orleans Saints seem to have kind of refound themselves offensively, and they're putting up such big numbers. I think New Orleans at home and that Superdome and, and the crowd and the emotion of that whole city, their first NFL championship game, and what that city's gone through with Katrina and everything else, they have to be somewhat of a sentimental favorite. Uh, Drew Brees has had a great year, a guy that's probably you know knocked around and maybe been written off because he's not the biggest quarterback or tallest quarterback. Obviously, Brett Favre, an interesting story at 40 years old, playing in the NFL championship. But the Saints at home with that crowd, I think I'd have to give the edge to the Saints. Think about this. A few years ago, the Miami Dolphins had a choice between Dante Culpepper and Drew Brees. Yeah. And Drew Brees, they couldn't pass the physical, and so they went with Dante Culpepper. Because of that, Nick Saban wins the championship at Alabama, <laughs> and the Dolphins have fared all right, but yeah. not in the position the Saints are now. I have to say, I have a little bit of a tie to the Saints because uh, I'm, a, I'm a Sig, and I have Sig Kai brothers over there in oh, Drew Brees and Sean Payton. Oh, so I'm going to pull for them. But i got to tell you, I, I think last time the Vikings were in the NFC Championship game was against the uh, 
the Falcons. Okay. And their kicker hadn't missed a field goal all year until that game. We go back to missed field goals. I think it makes yeah. the difference again this oh, week because it's going to be a tight game. Absolutely. But I'm going to go who dat. Let's go there Saints. Go. <laughs> well, interestingly enough, they've hosted the Super Bowl plenty, their first NFC yeah, championship sure. game, so it'd be great for the city. It would be. Yeah. Great for the city. Well, stay tuned. Thanks for joining us, Coach. Coming Thank up you. after Thanks the break, we have a special feature with UNCW power forward John Fields. You're watching the Cape Fear Sports Report, driven by the Stevenson Automotive Group.